Hello traders, FX Pip Collector here. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and I'm going to be analyzing gold starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on gold, I still think that this right here is a wave 5, and I don't really think it's over yet. I think it's going to end up going up quite a bit more, probably eventually end up looking something like that. I think that it's going to go up someplace around the 22 maybe $2,100 area, right at one of these three Fibonacci levels to finish off this wave 5. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can start to make out this first sets in a uptrend, which I think is a 1. I still think this move down is a 2, and I still think this move up is a wave 3. I think this move down is going to be a question within that wave 3, and it's eventually just going to end up looking something like that to finish off the wave 3, make a wave 4, and make a wave 5. So let's keep on going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can see the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of 1. This move down was very strong, but I still think it's an ABC of 2. This move up is very strong also. I think it's part of a wave 3. I think it may be even like a 1 of 3. This move down, I think, is probably going to be a crutch into this move up, maybe like a wave 2. And eventually, it's going to continue up to make what I think is going to be like a wave 3 of wave 5. Eventually, maybe making that wave 5 pattern like I was sewing on the longer time frames. So let's keep going down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame now, this wave C looks a little stretched out. It doesn't really look like a wave C anymore. It looks more like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So unless this right here ends up being a motive wave Kretzen, which a motive wave Kretzen is a Kretzen shaped like a trend, then I still think this needs to go up and make a wave B and then eventually go down and make a wave C. Now today is federal funds rate news and I don't really think the federal funds rate is actually going to cause the beginning of a wave B unless the news is very over underwhelming and maybe Maybe it will start the wave B and then eventually make a wave C and eventually continue the uptrend. So let's head down to the one hour time frame, show you what I mean. On the one hour, it looks like a one, two, three, four, and five of wave A. Now, it definitely looks like a downtrend, and I am expecting that the dollar will go up at the news today, which you would think would actually cause this to go down. So I'm definitely a little um, little off on this one because by looking at the pattern, it looks like the next move should actually be up for wave B. But if I'm expecting the dollar to go up, then this is not going to go up and make a wave B. So we're definitely going to have to reevaluate this at the news. If we, the news comes out and this is like sitting right here, then I would say the news is actually going to cause this to go up. If the news is coming out and it's actually like in a corrective state like that, because we do have about seven, eight hours until this news comes out. If it looks like this at the news, then I would say that it is going to go down and it probably is going to make a wave C. And this would end up being an A, B, and C correction. So I think what's actually going to happen is this is probably going to drift up for the next seven hours, making a wave B. And then when the news comes out, it's probably going to go down and make a wave C. And then probably maybe next week or something, it's going to end this wave C and continue back up for the continuation of the uptrend to make that pattern like I was sewing on like the daily, weekly, and monthly time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.